CYT Dallas is different than other theaters because of the people here. These people you're with, you're gonna see them at their worst and their tiredest, but you're also gonna see them at their best. People here know you. One thing I really look for in my friends and the people in my life is authenticity and genuinity. And you're almost forced to be authentic here in a good way. Everyone here really knows you and knows your heart. So when you're having an off day, they can help you or they can encourage you. Or, hey, I've seen this in your character recently and this isn't normally like you and they can help you get back on track. They're always holding you accountable. CYT Dallas has made a huge impact on who I am in theater or outside of theater and just my life in general. When I came here, I was a pretty shy person. I was very reserved. I didn't really know how to be myself or what that looks like. I kind of shaped who I was based on the people I hung out with. But here, differences are really celebrated and you really get to know who people are. And I felt safe here. I felt like I really could be myself. Before CYT, I was involved in other communities that felt really competitive in theater, but then also in the community itself. I felt like I was always fighting to be connected with people. I was always fighting for people's approval, adults and students. I just felt like it was all kind of a competition. Coming from cultures that have been more toxic or haven't been like CYT, I just wanna help younger kids feel seen and feel heard and feel involved. I want to engage with them in conversation and, and hanging out and spending time with them and letting them know that they're valued. When I came to CYT, I didn't expect to say at CYT. I was still planning on staying in the community that I was in. I came to CYT because a couple of my friends are doing it and my mom said you should try it out. And I was like, okay, I guess so. I came and I did a show. And the first day that I came into classes, people immediately were running up to me and were greeting me who I had never met before and just telling me all about themselves and asking about me. And I never had to fight for approval here. I've never had to fight for community <laughs> or includement. And the amount of safety that I feel here and security in who I am and in the people around me is so rare and so special to me and dear to my heart. Right now I'm looking at colleges because I'm a senior. I was on a college visit last week with my mom in California and we were at the hotel and I just broke down um, and I started crying and she reached out with me and we got to the root of what I was crying about. And um, I just feel <laughs> so scared that when I take this next step and step into college and adulthood or whatever that might look like, that I won't have friends or leaders like I do here at CYT because I really do think that I'm so blessed to have them and they're so hard to find. <laughs> At CYT, you're surrounded by people who just want to pour into your life and who care about you, and that's not something you can find everywhere you go. These places are really hard to find. One of the things that has allowed me to feel so seen and loved and poured into by the leaders is the way they watch you and invest in you. They notice when you're afraid or when you're nervous and almost all of them have always addressed it with me. When I was in Annie in ninth grade, I had my first main lead and um, my director at the time saw that I was scared one day. I didn't even really think about it that much. Um, nobody else noticed, but I was just really nervous. And she wrote me this long letter about how Jeremiah 29 11, God has a plan for me, a plan to prosper me and not to harm me. When I was in Beauty and the Beast, 
the director of Moises side and he was like, you are more talented in your funnier and you are more valued than you realize. And those words have always stuck with me. And in the same way, I was in small group and I expressed a story that I had been through of how before I had felt unseen. And one of the leaders of small group wrote me like a two page letter of how he had felt the same way before. And I still have the letter. I still really value those conversations and the ways those have those people have responded to me and the things that I felt, and I want to be that for other people. I want to be able to notice when people are going through things and just be there for them like they were for me. I want to be able to make that impact on others. CYT Dallas to me is more than just theater. It's a family. My hope, and what I'm pretty sure of, is that it would be really hard to enter into CYT and leave without being impacted by the community at all. When you have all these people whose intent is getting to know you, and you're with them for so long, then how can you not get to know someone or be poured into? I think it'd be really hard to go through CYT Dallas and not be impacted.